so much media, so little time. Who keeps track of it all? That would be me. This is Bob Andelman, and this is the Mr. Media Interview, brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at www.audiblepodcast.com slash mrmedia, that's Mr. Media, and you'll find more than 60,000 titles to choose them to choose from for your iPod, iPad, or MP3 player, including my own biography, Will Eisner, A Spirited Life. By the way, in case you hadn't heard this before, Mr. Media is recorded live from the new new media capital of the world and home of the king of adult passion, strip, co- strip club titan. Man, I just can't get these words right. Strip club titan, Joe Redner, and Bay Well, it's almost Valentine's Day. Which reminds me, I've got to call the florist after the show. And have I got the perfect interview for you. Rob Elder is the founder of a pair of websites that capture both the joy and angst of modern romance. First, the joy. It was love when dot com is dedicated to cataloging the exact moment when you realize that you are in love with someone. Ah, uh, can't you just hear the birds chirping and the, and the bees? I don't know what bees do. Buzzing? Yeah, I guess I must buzz. But then, inevitably, there's the angst. Elder's second site, it was over when dot com, is dedicated to cataloging the exact moment when you realize a relationship isn't going to work. This could be years into a romance, on the first date, or even before the or even before the first date. These stories can be funny, poignant, abysmally sad, and universal. And bastard that I am, I'm much more entertained by the latter, of course. Rob Elder, welcome to Mr. Media. Hey, thanks for having me. Pleasure to have you here. I uh, appreciate you making time for us. Um, I, you know, Rob, I think what I love about these sites is that the concept could outlive us all. It's so universal. It, sadly, the concept could outlive us all, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, and the thing that I sort of found uh, amazing is just the momentum that we've had. I mean, we've been up uh, basically since uh, last summer. And we've been in 141 countries, all 51 states, and we've had over a million hits. And this was supposed to be a little side project that I had after I was laid off. So it's, it's sort of taken over my life. Jeez. Um, how did you get started on this? This was just a quirk? I mean, you just thought, hey, this would be funny. This is a funny domain. Let me get this. Yeah, well, kind of. I mean, it, it, it started out as a party game that I used to play, sort of, uh, you know, like for a decade, because I I actually am not great at parties, you know, where you mingle around and you meet new people. I'm I, I'm not great at that at all. So whenever when whenever somebody would introduce you know themselves to me or or I'd be introduced to somebody, um, they'd say, well, well, what are you working on? And I'm uh, you know a journalist by training, and usually I'm working on some capital punishment piece, and <laughs> nobody wants to hear that at a cocktail party. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why not. <laughs> so I would say, hey, I'm thinking about working on this 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 book or this website about you know, the exact moment uh, you realize your, your, your relationship's over, because I'm obsessed with epiphany moments. And then, you know, the person would say, oh, well, that sounds interesting. I don't have any stories. And then something would click, and they would talk for an hour. <laughs> so. And, and uh, so when you start a site like this, uh, it's, it's you, and a lot of people don't understand how, how blogs and websites start, but it's basically a guy in a room with a computer um, in most cases, how uh, you know how did you go about getting people to contribute uh, uh, and and post these things? Uh, uh. Well, yeah, I just started with friends. I, you know, I said, hey, ah. um, you know, I'm I'm officially a hobo now. I'm unemployed, so here's what I'm doing with my time. And I said, do you want to contribute? So I got um, you know uh, hundreds of a uh, hundred um, stories from uh, friends from all across the U.S. And then I put it up and I said, okay, tell your friends. And then it just sort of snowballed, um, you know, very quickly before we were even three months old. Um, you know, Kevin Smith, the movie director, tweeted about us, crashed our site before we were even out of beta <laughs> testing. Um, and again, it's it, the, the momentum has been uh, pretty amazing. We're, we're, I mean, it's it's so out of control now that we're even uh, looking for a, bu- a book publisher. So hopefully, we'll be not just on the web, but you know, across media. Wow, how great! Yeah, I could I could see somebody getting on a plane reading uh, all these stories. Yeah. Uh, did, did, did the two sites start at the same time, or did one come before the other? No, they started at the same time. It's just that it was over when it took off. 
uh, quicker and stronger. And it and it still does. It still does. It still gets more traffic. But you know, I think that's just the sort of the law of uh, human nature. I think you should probably strike out more times than you you hit a home run. So. Hmm. And, and 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 let me ask let me ask you did you did you have any favorite stories I know you've been looking at the site I I just I love all this stuff I I'm 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 far more as I, I mentioned in the introduction I'm far more partial to the uh, uh, it was over when site I just find that stuff hysterical I mean <laughs> I, I'm, I'm I clicked on the the sex category in the last minute or two and I'll just give people an example of what we're talking about and and you can see this for yourself at it was over when dot com all solid it was over when dot com and then click on uh on the left there's uh categories I clicked on sex and uh, I just find sex more interesting to read about it, i guess <laughs> um the headline on this one is right before and this is she told me she had herpes right before we were going to make love no s t d s for me thank you um <laughs> <Sean. laughs> uh, and then uh now each of these has a and they're very short they're kind of like uh they're almost like tweets. I don't know if there's a, a, a character limit or not, but they, they they basically come across like a tweet. Yeah, they're, they're uh, under 100 words. So it's not 140 characters, it's under 100 words. And I found that, that was just a, a bit of testing, because I found that uh, if I let it go for much longer, I, I started to get, like, you know, Harlequin romance novels sent to me. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, you know, just it, it's about a single moment. And it's not, you know, they're not breakup stories. Some people stay with people long after they realize they're incompatible. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, you know, but some of them are, are you know just warning signs. Uh, one, one of my favorite ones uh, is uh, from our weird category. We have uh, you know uh, five or six categories, and um, this one was um, he pretended to be the father of a terminally ill child to get a free vacation to Disney World of the Make a Wish Foundation. That guy's <laughs> not dating material. You need you need to you need to get away. <laughs> oh my god, I, I'm reading I'm, I'm reading one now. You know it's. Uh, I don't even know. I, we're on the we're online and we're not over the air, so we don't have the same. Uh, I guess I can read this. This is anatomy lesson. Um, we were lying in bed after sex, and she asked if I knew when a female is ovulating. Obviously, no. I'm a guy. She wiped her vagina barehanded and rubbed her hand across my chest. She was explaining the thickness of the mucus when I dressed and walked out of the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not not all of them are. Um... Uh, yeah, not, not all of them are quote unquote uh, uh, family friendly. You know, they're they're uh, they're. I mean, and here's one that is family friendly, but along the same lines, which is, um, and this is one of my favorite ones. It was one of the first ones on the site, uh, and it says, uh, "As from a woman," and it says, uh, "I asked him what his favorite sexual fantasy was, and he said, quote, two redheads. I'm a brunette." <laughs> <laughs> and the the aftermath is um uh he left me two months later for a blonde it really is just <laughs> oh, it, 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 it's just bad it's just bad planning on his part i mean really that's yeah, it's bad <laughs> uh now now one of the each one of these has a, a line basically uh people haven't looked at it yet there's there's the short up to a hundred words and then there's a first name of the person who posted it. And then there's a there's an aftermath. There's always that one liner after. How important is having that aftermath to the story? Uh, well, I, I think it's it's of paramount importance because you find out how long people stuck around. I mean, that's sort of like the lesson. It's the uh, it's also the the I guess the punchline. If these were sort of uh, crafted like uh, like jokes, which a lot of them kind of are. The the uh, you know I don't edit much when I when I post these. So I'm amazed by people's sort of natural comic timing. Not to say that every one of them is funny. Some of them are, are pretty heartbreaking. But, um, you know, I think uh, uh, the aftermath is the lesson. And I think that's why people respond to it. Um, you know, we also have comments on the website, so you, you mm-hmm. can you can uh, weigh in on somebody's story. And uh, my favorite comment to date is from a woman, or the woman po- posted this story. She said, um, it was over when... He compared my breast to a video game character, and the com <laughs> the commenter wrote, um, "Which video game? It's important." <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <crazy. laughs> yeah. uh, but but you know, again, it it all goes to human nature and chemistry, and you know what we like and what we can put up with. So for me, you know, it's it's like an anthropological study, you know. <laughs> Now, do you have a favorite between the two sites? We haven't really talked about it. it was Love One, but do you have a favorite between the two? 
Um, I just, uh, you know, I love the, the schadenfreude of it was over when, you know, it's, mm-hmm. they tend to be funny and they're, they're more, there's more, more room for commiseration. So I prefer, um, over when, and, uh, you know, that's one of the joys of, of doing this, uh, website is I, I'm constantly surprised and shocked and entertained and saddened and sort of all of it at once. And, uh, you know, the other half of it is I'm still officially a hobo, still unemployed, so this is my job, and it's nice. It's a little bit of levity. So you, you, you're not an Internet millionaire because of this? No, no. I, I, I think uh, I would love to be an, an Internet. What's, what's less than a millionaire? A hundred air? That's what I yeah, am. I would, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would love to be a millionaire at a hundred air. Maybe, you know. <laughs> Maybe a fifteen dollar an air. No, but I mean we're we're taking off. I mean, like I said, the momentum uh, is is good. We're le- you know way less than a year old. Um, we had um, Sony Studios uh, uh, call us and say, hey, we're doing a promotion um, with the new Jennifer Aniston movie. Do you want to be a part of it? And I never expected to get that level of exposure. So you know, I'm just sort of surprised by this because really it was supposed to be a one off fun thing that has you know exploded wonderfully in my face. <laughs> Wow. Now, is it? Are you earning anything from it? I mean, no, not much. We have a little bit of display advertising, but uh, you know, to be honest, and this is probably way too much information. I'm too busy looking for a job, <laughs> trying to, you know, uh, than trying to uh, figure out how to monetize that. And maybe this is the wrong way to go about it. Um, but uh, no, it has not been my first priority. I, I mean, I, I, I actually, I, I think I understand completely. Uh, Mr. Media is a, a long-term project to me. It's, uh, I, I started doing it as a radio show. This is the fourth year, and, and when we started, when I started, the idea was, well, print media seems to be drying up, and I ought to be thinking about something else to do. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I hit on this, and uh, you know, it's been it's been a slow build. It's gone from nickels and dimes the first year to quarters and half dollars to you know, ones and fives, you know, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, you know, if I was a strip club guy, I'd say it was stripper money, but, uh, you know, um, <laughs> actually strippers make a lot more than I do on Mr. B. Yeah. But yeah, you know, I was it's, it's the kind of thing where if we're looking down the line and, and, you know, everything is going to multimedia and, uh, uh, content, the more you build up, uh, a trove of content, the, the better, better position you are. I, I, I love your sites. I, I think they're, you know, especially it was over when I just think it's hysterical. No oh, thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah. Well, and 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 uh, yeah, like I said, it's it's me basically learning as I go. You know, it was never meant to be anything uh, serious. It was never meant to really be a going concern. Uh, I mean, I literally, I mean, the 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 real reason that I started it is I had finished a book on the death penalty that I had spent seven years on, and I just said, you know, enough of 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 violent dead guys. Um, you know, that's kind of, it's, it's hard to live with. And so let let me um, you know turn this book in, and then I started these websites the very next day, quite literally. Um, and it was it was nice. It was sort of a little pressure release. Um, and how much I mean, how much time do you spend on this day to day? I used to. I mean, when we were first launching, and the website was uh, you know crashing because we would get too much uh, content or you know too much uh, attention. Um, you know, it was turning into a twenty four hour a day job. Now we have a content management system. You know, we our tracking software is better, um, so I can work on it. Eh, you know, like ten hours a week and sort of keep up. But the the problem is we have j- just this avalanche of of contributions all the time. So I, I feel like this moral obligation that I have to keep on top of it and keep those current and fresh. But um, you know, we have enough content now to program the site for you know months ahead of time. But I try to again keep it as current as possible. Um, do you know anything about the people who come to your site? Uh, you know, how often do they drop by, and what, what would make them come back after they they get off their chest? Their, you know, whether it was when it was love or when it was over. Why, why, why would or why do they come back? Um, part of it is, the, I mean, the same reason that I'm doing it. You know, <laughs> they are just fed by the stories. Um, and uh, uh, I mean, I can tell you exactly who our readers are because we have analytics. But, um, uh, you know, they are, for, um, it was over when, it's per, straight down the, uh, middle, male and female. Um, they're anywhere from, uh, ages about 17 to 35. 
Um, and, uh, you know, we have uh, hundreds of thousands a month come, and, uh, you know, we're, we're lucky to have them. And I also find that there, we have sort of like repeat offenders, which are, you know, uh, basically our community. So we've built a community around this of people who comment, and they're there all the time. I actually had a friend of mine who I was visiting. She's like, I, I have a confession to make. I read you every day. <laughs> wow. flattering. Yeah. Jeez. Um <clears throat> now we we talked quite a bit about uh it was it was love one it was over one tell me about it was love one uh d- does it get as much attention as the other no 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 it is the sweeter sister um yeah. and uh no it does not get as much uh, attention uh but uh, you know my to be honest my wife hates it was over when she she, she thinks <laughs> it is you know, she thinks it's petty, and it's a series of stories about the the, the straw that broke the camel's back. Um, to which I say, yeah, no, that's exactly what it is. You know, it's about human nature. <laughs> um, and so, it was love when is is kind of for her. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it's sweeter. It's um, uh, it's about again the mirror image of uh, it was over when. And and what my favorite one from it was uh, it was love when. Uh, was um, I had a dream in which Elvis Presley told me he was the one I was looking for. Um, you know, just these little sweet things. Uh, or um, there's one uh, call from our surprising column, because each of them, again, are, are, are broken into different categories. Uh, and this one uh, is, um, in college, I was a fan of Calvin and Hobbes and ate honey bunches of oats uh, religiously. After dating a girl for only a couple weeks, Valentine's Day came around, and she gave me a box of cereal with Calvin and Hobbes strips taped all over it. <laughs> you know, these, these little sweet little stories. Uh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, th- I thought it was interesting to hear, because I was going to ask you if you were married or single, because it seemed kind of like something a single guy would, would get involved in, not necessarily a married guy. Yeah, well, and I, I, you know, I sort of uh, started this in my head before I was married, but now I'm a married guy with twins, uh, wow. talking to you. Yeah, talking to you from his garage office. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I've gotten uh, a lot has changed, you know, since since I uh, started this project. You mean you're you're not calling in from the living room like I am? What? Uh, no, no, no. I'm calling That's... in from a, a a ventilated, not very well ventilated uh, garage <laughs> office. <coughs> Uh, I hope that I hope that while you're calling, nobody turns the engine on in the car or anything. Oh no, um, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> uh, honey, yeah, I'm really sick of that sight. Uh, here, take a <laughs> whiff of this. Um, and as a result of of the, the sights, have you found that you are, or has your wife found that you are more romantic or more skeptical? Or, um, I don't know. You know, that, that's a that's a great question. I've never been asked that before. Uh, I think it just makes me uh, more aware uh, because, you know, you read enough of, uh, you know, it was over when, and there are not so subtle trends, you know, <laughs> the number, and again, it's, it's indicative of sometimes our, our readership, but uh, the number of people who break up over like things having to do with video games is amazing, <laughs> you know, uh, the the number of uh, World of Warcraft breakups <laughs> or Farmville breakups that I've had, so it has made me stay away from, uh, you know, that kind of stuff, um, and just the, the stupid stuff, uh, the, the one thing it has done is it's sort of been an education in, you know, human nature and human chemistry. Uh, are you, do, you ever, do you ever read these things and go, oh my God, people are stupid? Um... Not so much, just because I've read so many of them, it's like, oh my God, I can't believe how human we are, which is maybe another way of saying I can't believe how stupid we are. But uh, to me, that's just the the most interesting bit. You know, it's a little bit of complexity. It's it's uh, um, uh, it is about that little bit of. I mean, I don't know if chemistry or it's not even fate, but it, you know, when when two human beings get together and can make it work. Think about all the things that have to be in line for that to to, to work well. Um, mm. to, that's a constant min- mystery to me, and I'm I'm sort of happy I get to explore it. Where do you draw the line on the sites? What what kind of things will you not post or allow your readers to post? Uh, I've only uh, I think I've only killed. I mean, not all the stories make it on just because they're either 
um, badly written or they're not, they don't all have to be funny, um, but they all have to be poignant in some way. Um, mm. But, uh, I mean, the ones I spike willfully are, um, and I've only had to deal with one, which is amazing given the, the hundreds of thousands of submissions we've had, um, is with the ones that are racist. Like I, I just don't, I don't have any, I don't have any patience for that. The, you know, uh, things that have to do with uh, sex and sexuality and and uh, politics and all that sort of stuff. That's sort of fair game. But things that are um, outwardly racist, I, I don't, I don't have time for. Interesting. Hmm. Understandable. Yeah. Um, certainly understandable. Um, how will you ever make money on this side? Is it advertising? Is it? Because you're, you'll do a book from it, and 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 do people understand that once they they post, uh, they submit stuff, that it becomes the property of the site? Yeah, yeah, that's in the that's in the uh, uh, sort of disclaimer that you get before you submit, um, and everybody's anonymous, of course. Um, uh, you know, and there are plenty of models uh, for this. There are uh, you know texts from last night and post secret. It's all the same you know user generated content model, but. Um, uh, you know, I don't know how I'm going to make money on it. You know, I, I, my options are to, you know, sell advertising, which I uh, probably should do a better job at. There's a little bit on there now. Um, I could sell them, which I prefer not to do because they're, you know, they're like my lesser children. They're not my twins, mm-hmm. but they're they're my lesser children. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I am open for suggestions. If if if, if any of your listeners know, email me. <laughs> <laughs> And so, so if you had a day job, it would be doing what now? Uh, well, again, I'm a journalist by training, so um, I would do something in that field, either uh, writing or editing. Um, I, I'm under a book contract uh, right now. Uh, I have a couple books coming out in the next couple of years. Um, I think I'd mentioned to you the death penalty one before. That's out in April. Mm-hmm. Um, it's called uh, Last Words of the Executed, which is a, an oral history of uh, capital punishment in the U.S. It's a cheerful tome. Uh, <laughs> it's, 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 it's not political. It's not political at all. It's, it's simply a history of the death penalty in America as told from uh, the gurney, the gallows, and the chair. And uh, it's it, not political in any way. It just asks, you know, if these are the most outcast, reviled members of society, why does it remain a cultural value to record what they say? So, you know, in whatever medium I'm working in, I I tend to always be like an oral historian. I'm always collecting people's stories. I always wondered why we why we want their last words. Yeah, I mean, it's why. (laughs) Well, I mean, I think it I think it exists largely in in a Christian framework. I mean, last words, of course, existed before you know Christianity itself. But I think that people would ask forgiveness. Is that the idea? It's a it's a couple thing. It's a, it, it's sort of three pronged. One is it's um, a final chance for someone to repent, which is the sort of the spiritual side. It's a final chance for someone to confess if they already haven't. So in that way, uh, proving the justice system correct. So it has sort of a legal function. And then I think it just has sort of a, a strange. It's strange to say humanitarian function, but uh, it's it sort of gives respect to that life. You know, mm-hmm. um, there's also this sort of chance that, hey, what if we're wrong? Maybe we should record this, um, which, you know, we, we have been in the past, you know, 16,000 executions in this country since uh, colonial times. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that sure changed the topic. Let's go back. Yeah. To- <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back. So you, you can see why I started the websites, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see why that's the kind of thing that doesn't necessarily go over parties and stuff. Uh, well, let's finish here. So let's finish strong. Uh, if you would, give give another example of something from uh, uh, It Was Over When, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get on out of here. Okay, okay. Um, let me see. One of my other uh, favorite ones is uh, from the sex category. Uh, right. And uh, it's uh, after a year of what I thought was a pretty strong relationship, she suddenly decided she wanted to see other people. What other people, I asked? Girls, she said. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Let's go out with that one. <laughs> That's really good. Um, folks, listen, you can read uh, Rob Elder's websites at itwaslovewhen.com. Even better, though, you'll enjoy even more. It was over when.com. That's solid. It was lovewhen.com. It was over when. 
com and uh, look for Rob's book on capital punishment coming when Rob uh, April 2010 so just a few months uh, it's called last words of the executed excellent well we'll get that up on the website so people can order it and um, hey Rob uh, it's, it's a fun website and uh, thank you so much for coming on the show today we really appreciate it well thanks again for having me my pleasure good luck to you thanks bye 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 and folks, for more uh, original interviews with the entrepreneurs behind some of America's top websites, surf over to our main website, www.mrmedia.com. That's where you can listen to my earlier conversations with the online entrepreneurs behind MrSkin.com, uh, Zapperoot.com, WonderHowTo.com, AllTop.com, and many more. And subscribe to Mr. Media on iTunes and you'll never miss a show. Just search Mr. Media Interviews from within iTunes and subscribe for free. You can also listen with a piece of string and a tin can in many locations. If you've got an idea for a guest, email me directly at bob at andelman.com. You can also follow me on Facebook or on Twitter, www.twitter.com slash andelman or facebook.com slash andelman. Thanks so much for joining us today. Always appreciate when you give up a little piece of your day and come spend it with Mr. Media.